Good morning guys. I am walking my dog now and I thought it was the best time or the best time to do a video on scheduling sex of all things. <laughs> so this video started or actually I decided to do it after I had a conversation last night where I was butting heads with a friend about this topic. Um, and we began having this conversation because she was watching this uh, show where one of the characters was cynically scheduling sex with her husband of many years. And uh, yeah, we started, you know, bringing a different perspective, each one of us, to this conversation. And I want to bring this topic to you. Uh, so here it is. First of all, my friend, the second she was saying this, and I said, the second she told me about this show, because I don't watch it, and my reaction was, yeah, but some people actually get to do that. Her reaction was, whoa, what is that about? That's not natural. That's not normal. It means they have a problem. And I said, uh, yeah, I mean, the show that you're watching is very cynical with that topic. So, yeah, that's naturally the perspective you're going to get. But let me tell you three situations where people actually schedule sex. And let me get my hand here. I'm walking my dog. So... Where is he? There he is, grazing, <laughs> like the calf he is. <laughs> so I need to free my hand to... Um, okay, so number one, you, um, you schedule sex because your sex life is very complex or sophisticated. You use a lot of accessories, a lot of toys. These are the people in the kinky and BDSM community. Sometimes these are people in the polyamorous community so they have multiple partners so they need to schedule things and to them that's not a problem I mean it doesn't scheduling sex scheduling time with their lover doesn't kill their passion it actually motivates them to get whatever else they need to get done so that they get to the fun part of the day so in that case in that situation it's not a problem um, Another situation is where you have a very complex life, you've married, you've entered a big extended family, you have a household, you have kids, you have jobs, each one of you, the partners. So this is the man-woman monogamous relationship slash nuclear family. And you waste so much energy or you consume so much energy with all these things that you don't have enough for sex. And guess what? Sex does require energy it, it takes some focus on your part it takes you being rested it takes you being well fed and relaxed so not stressed out and freaked out and anxious about your day and so on so um, some people um, with very draining energy draining lives they either don't have sex so much, they don't enjoy so much, or they sometimes get to schedule it, some people. It's not very common, but some people resort to that uh, because they don't want to lose this part of their lives altogether. Uh, and the third situation is where you're in a relationship. You really love the person, like it's your soulmate, your twin flame, <laughs> your life partner, the one, they, the one whatever other expression you have out there for this person but after some years have passed uh somehow you know the 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 really high feeling that love fresh love new love young love gives you sort of wanes because it gets more mature and and things you know they settle more and you get into different stages and sometimes you're more cuddly, but you're not so sexual. You're more loving and hugging, but you're not jumping one another so often. It can also happen. I mean, your, your sexual intensity is going to change based on the place you're in, in your relationship. So, you know, in that situation, sometimes you get to kind of schedule it. Not necessarily kind of, what do I mean by kind of? It gets into a routine sometimes, like, Sunday afternoon, that's your best time, and you're naturally going to have sex. So your, your body, your entire lifestyle will schedule it for you, even if you don't schedule it like, you know, I put Thursday at 7 p.m. an appointment for sex with you in my agenda. 
So that's a more natural way of things. We're, we're also cyclical beings. In the same way we have circadian rhythms, especially um, valid for our sleep, it's also valid for our sexual uh, impulse and instinct and drive. There, you know, our bodies function in, in rhythms, in cycles. So naturally, my friend, when she heard, I didn't present them so structured because I got a chance to sleep on it. And when I'm talking to my friends, I'm very passionate. I'm not so, I don't coach my friends. I just, you know, talk to them. <laughs> um, and it's not necessarily the most, uh, uh, let's say, calm, peaceful, coaching-like <laughs> conversation. You don't get, I mean, you get a different side of me. I don't show it so much here. Um, but her reaction was, yeah, but if you got a schedule, you have a problem and that leads to dysfunctional relationships that leads to people being attracted to others and cheating on them and so on. And I said, yeah, that could very well happen. And that could very well happen even if you don't schedule sex. So my, mm, how do I say this, um, foundational approach to this is that, uh, Sex is affected by the, the, the lifestyle that you have. And people that have more complicated lifestyles, they tend to have less sex. Because that complicated lifestyle of theirs we, requires and drains a lot of their energy. And, and they just don't have it for sex so much. Usually it's the people that have a lot of social engagements, social duties, uh, family duties daily duties you know these things that aren't bad i mean they keep society going and functioning and having a certain structure but sometimes it comes at the expense of their joy their sense of adventure their their sexual uh, you know appetite so let me show you something hold on oh so i need to show you this guy over here who seems to be yeah, <laughs> like he has a very simple lifestyle. He sleeps, he eats, he shits, <laughs> he drinks water, he plays. He lost his ball because we came out with a ball. Anyway, I'm not going to compare people to life, uh, to dogs lifestyle, but um, yeah. So uh, complicated lives tend to eat away our, our joy in sex drive and sense of adventurousness and spontaneity and uh, the only way to keep this going on the long run is actually to tend or to try to simplify our lives as much as we can so i'd love to know your take on this and um, i'm not going to butt heads with you like i did with my friend but i would still love to have your thoughts on this and uh, i'll try to do videos more often see ya bye